This is Bruce Jansen at the 36th Annual SDEF Hawaii Dermatology Seminar. I'm speaking with Dr. Daniel First, a rheumatologist at UCLA. Dr. First, um, uh, a dermatologist has been working with a psoriasis patient for some time, and this patient comes in with new joint pain. How does a dermatologist begin to distinguish new onset rheumatoid arthritis from osteoarthritis from psoriatic arthritis? So the most common forms of arthritis uh, that you're going to see as a dermatologist is OA, psoriatic arthritis, and RA. How do you tell the difference? It's really fairly simple. One, the distribution of joints. Um, in psoriatic arthritis, you won't get metacarpal phalangeal joint involvement. So in OA, the CMC joint is frequently involved, and it helps you separate OA from other diseases. In RA, these joints are involved, and in psoriatic arthritis, they tend not to be. So if you have a patient with this involvement, you think of RA. If you have a patient with this involvement, you think more of psoriatic arthritis. And in psoriatic arthritis, frequently the heel is involved, whereas in RA that's really very uncommon, and OA it's very uncommon. So it, it really is fairly simple. There's one other thing you should look for, and that is whether there's swelling and redness of the joints. Obviously with redness and swelling there's inflammation, and with OA there's frequently not inflammation, and so it won't be red and swollen. In psoriatic arthritis and RA, there tends to be inflammation.